Okay, I'm going to show some of the features of the beta of Radium as a plugin. So I've got Pro Tools running right here. I'll create a stereo instrument track. And I'll just show some of the things I've got set up here. So under MIDI input devices, I've got my Akai MPK turned on. Under MIDI input filter, I'm recording everything except some after touch and things like that, which I don't need to worry about. Um, but this is the place to come if like your mod wheel isn't working or something like that. It just means that you haven't set it up to record. And then under options, MIDI through, and then just record enable instruments, call up radium. So you can have obviously multiple, because it's a plugin, an instrument plugin, you can have multiple radiums uh, instantiated in your DAW. And because of that, Soundminer isn't going to know how or what plugin you want to sort of target. So let's say I've got this, this sound here, I'll just capture all the regions. Um, so I have to now swap to Pro Tools and I can click Load. And then it talks to Soundminer in the background, figures out how to transfer the sound file, and there it is. But one of the first things you probably want to do is assign a pad or some sort of toggle that you might have on your MIDI controller. So I've got these, these pads on mine. This one's like CC number 17. So if I go set my load MIDI controller and I hit it, there's 17, I can set it. And now I'll just clear this. Now, when I hit that pad, it'll just load into the currently selected slot. So that way, if I've got this plugin open and it's receiving MIDI and I'm on this slot, I hit that button and it will load whatever is inside Soundminer. So let's just choose something else here. Okay, this will do. So swap back and I'll hit load. So there, now I've got these two sounds on. I'll just mute this one for now. Um, let's say I was doing footsteps. A cool little thing you can do inside uh, a lot of DAWs is half speed record playback. So in Pro Tools, it's um, Command Shift Space Bar. I've still got Spotlight enabled, so I'll just hold the Shift key down and hit play. And you'll see my timeline is going half speed. So if I had picture, it would be playing back at half speed. And then I could just perform my footsteps, for instance, or whatever it is that I wanted to do in sync with picture. And when I stop and play back regular speed, the pitch of everything all stays the same. So there's that. Um, I like the, the MIDI merge here. So let's say I wanted to assign my modulation wheel to the reverb, um, let's go wet dry. We got that, we got, so turn it on. So now you can see, I can adjust the, the wetness of the factor. Oh, cause I'm on the wrong slot. I was like, why isn't it working? Wrong slot. Okay, so hold on, we'll, we'll do it to this one now. Uh, modulation wheel, reverb, wetness, turn it on, crank up the size. So there we are. So with MIDI merge on, uh, when I hit record, it's not gonna wipe away any of the existing notes. So now I don't have to worry about There it is. So now if we just open this in the MIDI editor, I can see there's the modulation wheel data for, for the uh, the wetness. I could edit this, I could draw in new points, you know, anything that I wanted to do. Uh, another thing you can do is create some stereo aux inputs. So I'll just create two for now. And it's gonna get its input from the plugin, Radium, and, you know, it's telling me what plugin it is. Uh, I want bus one. And then on this one, I want um, plugin bus number two. So by default, Radium is going to play out the main outputs. So you'll see it play right there. But I can change if I wanted to go to a separate bus. Now it's going to here and then bus two for there. And you would do that if you wanted to record out stems or if you wanted to process each of the slots differently. You could just route them and then, you know, I could instantiate like a plugin here. So I could EQ just this one slot 
or I should say this one bus, because you can output, um, you know, the same sound out of multiple buses. So if I do this, they're all, they're all getting that, that EQ at the moment. I call this up to bus two. Anyway, so that uh, that's Pro Tools in a nutshell. Okay, so Reaper now. Um, what I've got is a blank Reaper project open. And if I go and view my effects browser, I can see there's Radium as a, an audio unit. If I drop that on, it will ask if I want to create all the output buses as well. I'm going to say yes. So there is my sound or my plugin, I should say. So here's the sound, swap back, same thing as in Pro Tools, you know, instantiate, load, so there we go. So that's all going, and then I, of course I can change my buses, just like that. And But one of the fun things you can do inside Reaper is the take effects. So I'll just show this, hold on. Create a new track here. We'll get its effects be radium. And then input is MIDI. There we are. Now load a sound in. Okay. So let's just record something. Okay, so there we are. Let's save it. Um, now, I can move this onto another track, and right now there is no Radium assigned to it, because Radium is on this main track here. But if I call up the take effects for the track, so I hit just F2 there, take effects, I can see it's completely blank. But if I drag Radium onto there, there I've now made a copy that's associated with this take effects right here. So you'll see the main Radium isn't actually playing anything. There's no volume. But on the take effects one, call that up again. If I play, that's where it's actually getting like the MIDI is from. So the benefit there is you can move this around and Radium essentially is going to move along with it. But I can also make a copy like I did there. Now, if I call up the take effects on this one, because it's a copy at the moment, it's going to be an exact copy of Radium. But if I choose a different sound, let's see. Okay, just capture these as regions, swap back, hit load. So now it's the same MIDI piece. But you can see it's now actually triggering those sounds. And then back here, So on the same track, then, you can have multiple uh, radiums and effects chains that's associated with that that particular piece of MIDI, which means you can, you know, if, if stuff needs to be moved around because of reconforming, this will now be the Jew harps over here, and this will be the uh, balloon pings. So it's all kind of locked to picture, if you will. Um, that's something that's pretty cool about Reaper, for sure.